In this video, I'm going to build further on my previous two videos where I tested the best trading strategy that you can use for manual and bot trading. This time I will add the PSR and another mysterious indicator that you can use for determining the optimal entry positions for your long and short trades. So let's quickly continue. As said in my previous two videos, I have tried to find the best SMA or EMA settings for manual trading. If you want to see more information about this, then please watch these two videos or visit my site on the Strategy League. In this video, I will try to squeeze even better results out of this baseline strategy by using the parabolic SAR or parabolic stop and reverse. With this indicator, I want to try to find the best entries for long and short trading. And as a small exception here, I will only do futures trading, so not spot trading. So what about this strategy? Well, to begin, I first start with the baseline SMA that got me the best results, and that was the SMA 100. I also tried the EMA 100 to find out if it would perform better, but that was not the case. The EMA 100 setting did not perform better than the SMA 100 setting. If the price is above the SMA 100, then only long trades can be made, and if the price is below the SMA 100, then only short trades are allowed. Next I will use the PSR. I adjusted it a little bit so that it was not that sensitive for ranging or flat markets. I only adjusted the increment of this indicator from 0.02 to 0.001. And this way it got less sensitive to ranging markets as I said. Now if the price is above the PSR and above the SMA, then a long position is allowed. And if price is below the SMA uh, and the PSR, then only short trades are made. Now these two indicators determine the direction of the trade. However, I also use two other signals for the actual entry. There can only be an entry at the moment the PSR changed from uh, above the price to below the price. So there are only single moments when the shifts uh, of above to below or vice versa occur. And as for the final indicator that determines the actual entry, here I use a price search. And to determine if there is a price search, I used a moving average over the trading volume. This is a 100 period moving average that acts as some sort of a slowly adjusting variable threshold. And if price is below this threshold, then there is not much action in the market and clearly no signal for entry. However, if there is a sudden increase in volume, indicated by the price that rises above its SMA 100, in combination with the SMA and both the PSR based indicators that indicate a short or long trade, then a position in the direction of the trend is taken. There is however one thing, and that is that these sudden volume increases do not always match the PSR's shift from bottom to top, or vice versa. So these are the missed opportunities if you trade with these strict rules, uh, in a trading bot for example. But if you trade manually, then you can always use your eyeballs and market insights to determine if you want to trade or not. As for the exit signals, here I use three exit types. Stop loss, ROI settings and an exit signal from an indicator. The stop loss has been set to 100% since I expect that the exit signal will let me exit the trade in time. It is not the best practice, but in my case I am fairly confident that the strategy will help me out in this case. But this is not financial or trading advice here. Now the second indicator that uh, gives me an exit is the ROI setting. And since I take the risk of getting stopped out at 100%, I also take the liberty to set my target profits to a risk reward of 1 to 2. So in this case I will step out if I have 200% profits. Now the third exit signal here is the SMA 100. If price gets below this line, then I assume the trend is over and exit the position as well. I might search for even better exit indicators later, but for now this will suffice. Uh, and I also want to keep things simple here so uh, to afford manual trading. So there you have it, a strategy that uses the parabolic SAR as its main indicator besides the SMA 100 
for determining their trend direction and two additional uh, entry signals for the actual trades. Now let's see if I can get parabolic results here as well. For the backtests I use an automatic backtest engine and all the trading rules have been coded into an algorithm that can automatically test the rules of the strategy over a long period of data and over multiple trading pairs to avoid survivorship bias and all other kinds of biases. It also makes testing a trading algorithm much more convenient and quick and also this kind of backtesting is very honest and sometimes a little bit harsh if a trading strategy idea does not work out uh, as you intended to. It does the tests, calculates the results and gives you the feedback uh, without any human feelings. So in that case uh, you don't fool yourself. Now after I did these tests on different time frames, at the moment the best results can be made on the 4 hour time frame, which was expected since the SMA 100 also performed well here. The end balance of this trading strategy is excellent, considering the amount of trades this strategy had to make, uh, which is even less than the 1 day time frame makes in this strategy. And it certainly makes it manageable for manual trading. As with all trend trading strategies, the win rate is very low. And here you have the chance to make a lot of improvements by adding your own personal rules to filter out even more of these bad trades, besides the PSR and volume. On average you have 4 losing trades against 2 winning trades and the longest losing streak detected is 19 losers after another. All the ratios like Sharp, Sotino and Kalmar are also positive about this way of trading although the sharp score lags a little bit behind here. Now let's take a look at some graphs. The weekly performance plot has a very good steady incline, but shows also that some moments can be tense if you see these deep drop offs uh, on your profitability curve. Luckily these moments do not last long and at some moments the curve stays relatively stable. At these moments the drawdown curve starts to rise and at some point it reaches a maximum drawdown of 20%, with an average drawdown of 7.8%. And these numbers look very good for a trend trading strategy in my opinion. The profits and losses graph of this backtest show that this strategy has regular weeks with profits of over 5000 USDT. Although I do not have the information uh, where this comes from, it could be from only long trading, short trading or both ways. There are some weeks that uh, suffer a big loss, but on average these do not come higher than let's say around 3000 USDT. So now you have more information on the performance profile of this strategy for a possible use in the future. Now to round things off here, this plot overview shows the comparison of this trading strategy's performance over earlier tests. It does not have a specific plot that stands out on its performance, whether that is negative or positive, but as you can remember that most of the other well performing algo performances here are mainly caused by very sophisticated and sometimes complicated trading rules that can only be done by a trading bot. The big difference here is that this strategy you are watching in this video is made for manual trading and has some very simple rules. So taking this into consideration, I think it is a very good performance, even though it's not always shown in numbers or graphs here. And this also counts for this chart. The two extremely well performing strategies here are the results of very complicated trading rules. And these results are sometimes questioned by the audience as well. And that's totally fine by me, because only from dialogues about these results we can all learn something. And that can make us all perform better in trading, but just keep the conversation friendly here. Now these tests gave this strategy a score of 422 points according to my personal scoring mechanism. And that score made this strategy enter the strategy league on the 4th spot, right between most of the black box trading algorithms. A very well deserved spot for such a simple manual trading strategy. And I think that if you use this strategy as a baseline for further development, you might have a chance to have a pretty good trading strategy in your hands. But this is not a financial advice, and please do your own research before using any of these strategies for your own personal trading. And so we come to the end of this video. Many thanks for all of you who are still watching, and I hope this strategy gave you some inspiration to test out things for yourself too. 
and maybe improve it here and there as well. I'm curious if anyone can provide us with an excellent indicator for exit signals to improve on this strategy even further. Now all files like the backtest results, the coded algorithm, charts, uh, the Python code for the backtest engine uh, are all available on my Patreon site for downloading. Thanks again for liking and commenting and please do subscribe since a lot of you who are watching are still not subscribed yet. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.